Status epilepticus is defined as continuous seizing for more than five minutes or back-to-back -back seizing without awakening. It is a medical emergency and something that you must know how to treat. When you are called to see a patient who is actively seizing, it is important that you yourself stay calm and have an organized plan of action. Do not wait around for the seizure to stop spontaneously. The longer a patient seizes, the harder it is to stop, as electrical short circuits start forming in the brain and make it much more difficult to suppress. As in all emergencies, the ABCs, or airway, breathing, and circulation, take priority. Place the patient on 100% oxygen, attach him to the monitors, and establish intravenous access. Check a blood sugar and correct it if it's low. The first line medications to stop the seizures are benzodiazepines, and they can be given repeatedly every five minutes until the seizure stops. If you are lucky to have an intravenous line established, Ativan or Lorazepam is your drug of choice. If you do not have an IV line, you can give Versed or Midazolam intramuscularly or intranasally. Rectal Valium or Diazepam is an alternative option. If you do not have IV access after a few doses of benzos, then an intraosseous line, often placed in the tibia, should be inserted as it allows quick penetration of additional drugs. After benzodiazepines, Dilantin or Phenytoin should be administered as an infusion. Remember, never push Dilantin as a bolus as it will cause life-threatening apnea, hypotension, and arrhythmias. If the patient is still seizing, intravenous phenobarbital or valproic acid can be given over 20 minutes as a second-line agent. The final step in the treatment of status epilepticus is general anesthesia with intubation and EEG monitoring. The most common causes of status epilepticus are non-compliance or discontinuation of anti-epileptic medications. However, alcohol and drug toxicity or withdrawal, CNS infections, CNS malignancies, and severe head trauma must all be ruled out. In the back of my mind, I also consider these three other causes in select patients. Number one, could the patient be pregnant or postpartum? If yes, consider eclampsia and check the blood pressure. And if present, treat with intravenous magnesium sulfate an urgent C-section is still pregnant. Number two, could this be an overdose of the TB medication INH or isoniazid? This type of overdose can present with intractable seizures and will only respond to intravenous vitamin B6. And finally, could this be a form of hyponatremia? If the patient has a sodium of less than 110 and is actively seizing, you must correct the sodium, but not too fast because that can cause brain edema.